नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल असेंबल्ड हियर फॉर डे थ्री ऑफ स्पिक के अनुभव सीरीज वर्कशॉप ऑफ केरला म्यूरल पेंटिंग बाय श्री के आर बाबू जी आई होप यू आर ऑल सेफ एट योर होम एंड होल हार्टेडली फॉलोइंग द आश्रम स्केड्यूल गिवन बाय स्पिक के हियर आर द सम इंस्ट्रक्शंस फॉर टूडे वर्कशॉप वी वर कलरिंग आवर पेंटिंग कृष्णा एंड बलराम टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द कलरिंग एंड आउटलाइनिंग ऑफ अवर पेंटिंग आफ्टर दैट वी विल बिगिन विद अ न्यू पेंटिंग नेम्ड गणपति second there will be a drive link in the comment section from there you can download the painting ganpati and can have access to old paintings there is also one more folder called delegates painting where you can upload your complete paintings third if you have any query you can write it down in the comment section so anila ji can read your query and convey it to sir fourth if you have any query related to the series you can contact nikhil nagar and his number is also mentioned in the comment section now i would like to welcome shri kr babu ji and his wife anila r ji uh, i have prepared something special for you and if there is any mistake please forgive me ella varkum namaskaram pick me ke anubhav series inte munam devasam pankidan anuyojalaya rand pere levichate नामुदे भाग्यम लेट स्टार्ट द वर्कशॉप यस सो वेलकम एवरीबॉडी सो वी आर वेरी हैप्पी टू कनेक्ट विथ यू वर्चुअली द ओनली ड्रॉबैक इज वी आर नॉट एबल टू कनेक्ट विथ इमोशनल so but uh, yesterday he was very happy to see one of the paintings that was uh, completed and uh, sent to us by one of uh, uh, the students of titan school so it is a very good sign that you people are able to do it along with us so if there are people who are interested to uh, show the painting to sir please do send and uh, uh, you can ask the volunteers uh, for uh, the email id or the phone number okay so we were very happy to see and uh, uh, very good so hope you are all following and as per your request uh, today we are also going to do after the completion of krishna and balra your favorite uh, ganapati uh, uh, painting okay so uh, very happy to be with you all uh, on the third day so it is uh, you know we live in a, in a diverse uh, country and we are very happy to be welcomed in malayalam by jinnar thank you so much so we'll continue with our painting today. okay sir so is ready with uh, the the red, red color that's red okay so you can post your uh, queries and i'll be answering it so piyush kumar are you joining today piyush uh, if so have you got your sketch ready with you so i think it would be good if you go back to uh, yesterday's video and hope all your color is ready okay so uh, sir has started red in so we stay start with uh, tracing the sketch so it would be nice if you go back and just check the video and you can follow 
Okay, Simran, he'll check it. Okay, so maybe uh, so very happy. We'll check and send you the feedback. Okay. So why is sir tracing everything with red is uh, a question from I'm not able to avoid. So uh, it is not tracing with uh, red. So just get back to the video first uh, because uh, people may not be expert in uh, drawing this and it's not a very easy uh, painting. Uh, so to, uh, to sketch it, so you trace it in the beginning for a beginner. Okay, if you learn it uh, from uh, a guru, so maybe after the, the step by step uh, process, you will become an expert uh, to draw. So after that, you paint it. So red is the painting that you uh, give it. So if you get back to the video, you'll be able to get a clear picture of it. So to get the numbers, I think uh, volunteers have made arrangements for you to send uh, the mail and. Uh, you know, you can get the number and the mail ID from uh, from the volunteers. The more the ornaments uh, were first painted in yellow and then now the next step is red. So you just go back to the previous video so that you'll be able to understand uh, better. Yes, uh, so you 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 say your red outline is very thick, so that uh, you know today it's second painting. Uh, so I think by now you should have become ready. Don't worry. So when you go to the third painting, maybe your hands will move uh, with some more uh, professionalism. Okay. So yes, as a beginner, you may not be able to give that perfection as he is, but with practice you'll get. Don't worry. The light red that he is giving now is the hair. So don't forget. Can you see the hair part is also that light red? So just look at uh, his uh, coloring now. So the portion that he colors now is hair part. So first we start with the red like you did yesterday, Mokini. So same way, you can see first coloring is in red. This white portion is flower. This portion is the air flower. So you can see there is a white portion left. So that is for flower. Okay, so decorating the hair with color. So don't do that. Don't paint it with red color. And you can see how he uses the red. He has lightened it. So observe very carefully and then start doing it. Uh, Jigyasa. Yes, Jigyasa, we will check it. Okay, don't worry. And we'll send you the comments. Okay. This way, this way. Mail, check it. So he'll check it, okay? So don't worry. After the class. 
after the class, he'll check and give you feedback. This portion is uh, my reading. The portion that he's showing you now, you know, can you see that's for peacock feather? Okay, so that is where he has kept her uh, for Krishna. So the next step, are you all ready? It is green color. The next step is going to use green color. In the previous video, he has uh, shown you. Sabreen plus hello occur. Can it be louder? Or should you occur? Sub green plus hello occur. Green. So how to mix uh, green color? So he is uh, showing you hello occur with sap green. Okay. So these are the two colors that he mixed it for this particular color. And in Kerala traditional mural painting, you find Krishna in green color. Okay. So sir wants me to tell you. So it is in green color. The body coloring will be in green. So sap green plus yellow occur will give you this effect to the color. Now you can see how the face is being painted. So volunteers will give you the link for the previous videos. RT. You should not color the pearls. Can you see the pearl like how you did yesterday for Mohini? You have to leave that in white. So don't give a green coloration there. Can you see the pearls now? It is left white. Aarti, the colors are mentioned in that video. Okay, so it is uh, uh, yellow ochre. Uh, and then you go for Indian red. And how to mix Indian red is mentioned in yesterday's video itself. So today we have started and you just, you can then connect to today's video. Now we have started green. Hey Krishna, Sri Rama, white star, and green color. Take it up. 
കൃഷ്ണ ശ്രീരാമ തുടങ്ങിയ വൈഷ്ണവ മൂർത്തികൾക്ക് ഗ്രീൻ കളറാണ് പെയിന്റിംഗ് So in Kerala mural painting, so the deities, Vaishnava deities like Shri Rama, Krishna are usually painted in green. Okay, so again if you see Kerala mural painting, you just look at the color. So you will be very happy to realize that you have done one such painting. Shiva, Dachramurthi, Shiva, Shaiva, Murthi, Vaitya. For Shaiva Murti, like uh, Dakshina Murti, Shiva, white color is given. Okay? So, now being uh, four day in this, after this four day workshop, five day workshop, you must be able to distinguish all this. So, Krishna uh, in green, now you can see again when you see any of the Krishna deities, you can just see. Okay? So he is going to uh, uh, retain the white color for Balram and Krishna in green. Okay? Yes, so now, you know, we are multicultural uh, Atrej. So this is one way to understand the tradition of uh, other states. So now you understand green painting for Krishna. Okay? No. So this is how we learn the no. cultures and speak Maki gives you a platform to know and understand the tradition and culture of uh, other states. No, North Kerala, no, North Kerala, North Kerala, North Krishna will always be in blue. That is what uh, Sir has asked me to tell you all. In North India, Krishna is always depicted in blue color. Okay? So how the leg part is uh, colored and you see how the movement of uh, the brush so someone uh, told like uh, you're not able to get the border so observe carefully how the brush is uh, handled the second go to Ghana, first go to so what sir says is uh, this is the first coat green that he's giving yeah. one more coat is needed okay after it is dried up one more coat will be given Yes, uh, the green is a mixture of sap green and yellow ochre. Thank you, Supriti, ma'am, for giving everything in the writing. So after the first coating of green, you are going to give one more coating, but it has to get dried up. So after it is dry, you will go for one more coating. And Sir said he is going to retain the white color of his brother Balra. And you have to identify the tools in their hand. You can see Balram with the plow and Krishna with his favorite flute. Okay, Anil, we'll uh, check it, okay? He, he would have received. Maybe he didn't check it. They say he didn't get time. Uh, so, we will check it today and give you a feedback, okay? So, very happy you people are so much interested in the painting and doing it so sincerely. So, later you can frame it and hang it in your wall.
So he is going to give for the feather green. Can you see the portion? The top portion of the hair. So where you left white peacock. space. It's a peacock feather. Okay, Anil is from Kerala. Happy to know that, Anil. Welcome. So as mentioned earlier, Balram's body is white. It is maintained white. Eyes, uh, uh, so Raghubir Prasad. Raghubir, uh, eyes is not a painted. We have to use a black color. You remember? Yes, it is the last stage. Now it is again the red color, Indian red. It's not black. Now carefully look, it is not painted. Next, he is going for a second coat for Krishna. He has allowed it to dry. You can just touch and see like how sir said it now. You can see if, to, if it is dried. And then you can start with your second cooking. Light red, light shade. White color. Right. You see how the shading is done for Balram. Light red. Light red. Okay, you lighten it. Very light. Very okay. light. Just shading. And shading just carefully observe. Okay, if you're doing the painting for the first time, sometimes shading may not be clear. So just observe carefully how he does the shading part. And it should be very light. And see how the color is mixed, very light. More water, water, water. More water is light in it. More water color. If it is water color, he uh, sir has asked you to add some water to it and lighten it. Otherwise, you know, you will not get this beauty. So shade being brings perfection to your uh, painting. So see how to mix that uh, uh, paint with water and lighten it. And see the portions of hair. Okay, so don't color it.
orange color. It's not orange color. It is uh, Indian this background, thread. Background, this background, background thread. Same, same, same thread. The same red. It's not orange. Okay. He has lightened. How to play with colors? He has just lightened. Okay. Shaker, uh, red, red color is not uh, given here. It's green, that color. What is your doubt? I'm not clear. Shade red for uh, Krishna. No, no shade red. It is for Balrama. Sheet. Drawing sheet is preferred. Okay, Sakshi. A4 sheet is with So A4 sheet will be very thin. So no thickness. So it's better to use drawing sheet. Yes, yes, uh, Ragbir. Mix it with water, lighten it so that you can see, get that perfection. Just observe the painting for some time. Only then, otherwise, you know, if it is very thick, uh, it may not look good. So, sir is giving the second quote. Someone had the doubt, is the uh, uh, eyes drawn? Now, look clearly. Eyes is still red in color. Our last step is black. Only then, eyes will be open. And that is the final stage. So the second coating green is given. Which painting photo are, are you talking about, Anil? Is, this, is it a Mokini painting that we completed yesterday? Green, Viridian hue and the chrome green light. So, jury money, you can use chrome green light. That is what he said. If you don't have uh, this combination, sub green is better. Sub green is recommended, but he says, okay, if you don't have, uh, if you don't have this green with you, sub green, then go for chrome green. But he doesn't want want you to use the other green. It is re retained uh, in uh, white. The white body is retained and just a shade of red is given. The red uh, color is uh, lightened. So that is the effect. If you make it very thick, you may not get this effect. So just observe clearly. Okay. And then you start painting. Mm -hmm. He has sent it, okay? Yesterday, if you go to that video, you can see that. What's up? He has sent in the WhatsApp, okay? It's uh, Anil who wanted that uh, painting. So he has sent that painting in the WhatsApp.
Neelam, to lighten your color, okay? Because uh, for shading, you have to lighten it with water. So, sir is giving second coating. So, see to that you don't paint uh, the pearl also in green. So, it has to be kept in white. So, be very careful. So, you need more concentration. The nails must be repainted in white. Okay. Can you see the nails? So every detailed thing should be observed. Now he is actually coloring the hand part. You can see the nails kept white. So observe that clearly. No, no, you can't use uh, Venkateshwara dark green, okay? Sap green and yellow occur. This is the mix that he used, okay? Just go back to the video. It's not dark green. He says that green gram color. I don't know what you tell in Hindi. It has to come in that color. Okay, that's why we mix yellow occur and sap green. But don't give uh, dark green. Yeah, so shaker, if you have chrome green, mix it with yellow ochre. That is what sir said. If you have, otherwise it will be very dark. So you mix chrome green with yellow ochre and then you paint. See to that you don't paint the nails also. Dry out. So now it is allowed to dry. Poster green and light green. Poster green and light green. Okay. 
ചെയ്യേണ്ടി വരും someone told about poster green and uh, light green so what sir says is it depends on uh, the company because it will you know it will give different color so he says that green grams color should come okay you see if you get that color then you cannot very dark okay so it is to jayshree ganesh jayshree poster green and light green so unless he sees that okay after you paint you just send us so he he says it is very difficult to tell now without seeing because different company has a different kind of color a little bit sad green to the mixture in the second putting to be darker the same color that you use for first coating is again then made second the color sina you remember that color so for plow he is giving burn sina a brown to give that effect of brown to the plow okay just observe how he gives that brown color so he is using burn sina to give that brown effect to the plow so balrama's plow is given in burn sina very light and very light don't make it very dark so observe and then start painting only for the paper in dark so says olive green will be very dark okay so it may not give the desired effect to the painting first let's complete this painting and then we'll think about uh, ganesha okay don't start coloring black uh, venkateshwara now observe are you painting if you're painting uh, you know do it along with sir so you see how he is going to give black effect to the hair like how he did for mohini yesterday yeah it is so there is one portion where he has forgotten there is hair which is left he is painting now that is actually the part of hair so it was forgotten so you can you see so that is also part of the hair so sir is giving now light red it was very much light so he is now adding so you see how he is actually using that color next to balamala this portion is balamala so you can see one space uh, left with a green on krishna's shoulder it is called vana mala okay it's mala means garland vana means forest okay so he said that is going to be uh, it is going to be in different colors <laughs> different different colors because uh, forest garland so vana mala vana means it's forest okay so like in hindi also one so vana mala so you see that garland how he is painting so you must know how it is actually uh, what is that particular so it's a garland that you see show uh, you can see on his shoulder which is actually hung and observe how the light color burnt sina is used for the plow and it is very light burn sina yes neelam i have conveyed uh, your suggestion 
to make a video on portrait done by pencil. Yes, he's ready. So not now. Maybe on another day he will uh, show you how to make a portrait using a uh, pencil. Okay. If Neelam is good in drawing, you can do it. No problem. Ashok, which word you want me to repeat? Vanamala. And Vanamala is that mala is garland. Okay, you can see Krishna, that white space left. It's a aura. So it's going to be given different colors. So it is a mala, garland. Vanamala. Shailaja, if you just contact the volunteers, they will send you a link to get the previous video. This is uh, the second painting and it's going to be completed. So if you want to start from the beginning, because the next step is Ganapati. It is more detailed one. It may take three days. So let us see. Okay. So unless you start from the small. So now all those who have been following us for two days, they may easily be able to do the Ganesha painting. So if you have not got introduced, please see the previous video. Yeah, that will that is recommended uh, which election give uh, sap green and yellow ochre. That will give you that green drab color which will give uh, beautify Krishna mood. Water plus brown color is something that uh, Bensina color, okay? Bensina is uh, the color that he used for plow, not the dark one, the lighter one. Yes, for almost all the painting, that uh, tracing is uh, very important after uh, darkening uh, the back page of uh, the sketch because uh, if you are not an expert in drawing, you may not be able to. So he has given for flute the same yellow color, he has retained that yellow. Sridhar, you can't use all colors you like. I said traditional Kerala mural painting is based on the colors that we told mentioned in the video. Have you been following the video? If not, just get back to the video. Or else, next uh, painting when we start, you can just observe. So I said it is yellow ochre, then it is Indian red, and how to prepare Indian red, and then you have... Uh, green which you saw now and then blue and last stage is black. So he's using one more coat for plow. So just look how sir is uh, making darkening it but not very dark. So you observe the way he is actually mixing the color is lightening it. Just look the plow shade coloring. So it's not, it's not a shade, he's actually coloring the plow, the stick part 
brown color so it was very light he has just made it little more thick yes so near two coating of uh, indian red uh, was done for the background just uh, go back to the video so you want sir to speak i will make him speak uh, <laughs> so they want you to speak <laughs> so i i la uh, sir and us are there again he he cannot take both okay so i'll be his uh, mouthpiece don't worry <laughs> and uh, occasionally i will ask him to speak to you the brush that he is using is a zero brush okay you can go for double zero triple zero or one so zero very thin one like shading is just and for arul uh, like uh, actually art needs no language just to clarify your queries i'm here Okay, Arul. So art is something that can be communicated through painting itself. <laughs> okay. Since we are multicultural and uh, you know multilingual, it so happens some of the details need to be communicated. So he's uh, shading. Uh, so he wants you all to look at the shading of the body part. Light green. Can you see the shading? the how shading is done you have to observe that clearly so that you can give the same effect just to wash here the green too bad lip corrector light green so sir is going to tell how to give that shade okay yes A light green plus red dark green light green plus red and that gives a dark green effect and that is the shade that he is Maybe using little. very little okay so he is asking you all to use very little so nandini we have already mentioned a4 sheet it's, it's very thin so better go for drawing sheet or card sheet okay Your voice is very sweet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, light green plus red color will give some dark, and very little is to be used to give shade for Krishna's body. Shanta, if you have done the uh, painting. you can just uh, contact the volunteers they'll give you the email id i think they have already sent it here just check
Rina, they have sent you the email ID and uh, you can just see. It is zero brush, okay? It is burnt sina, B U R N T. S I E N N A, Bernsina. This green Indian red to get. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it is Indian red with uh, light green to get the dark shade. Okay, Shaker. So you can mix uh, light green with Indian red. So you get that dark shading. And you see how Sir is doing it. Observe it and later start doing it. Don't worry, Meghna. It will, uh, you're all just, uh, you've just begun. So you take your time. The video is still, uh, it, it will be there. So green, uh, we told earlier, it is sap green and yellow occur to get that effect to the body. Jai Shri Ganesh, you mix sap green and yellow occur to get that uh, green gram effect, you know, that color effect to Krishna. Yes. Yeah, you can use A3 size paper also. Bernsina is that brown color, Sonia. Aruna, it's already written there. It is written there by Supreta Man. Burn Sina, B U R N T S I E N N A. Bernsina was used uh, for the cloud to get the brown color and it was lightened, not very dark. Bernsina.
burn seed and rain with brown leaves. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you don't have burn seed, you can use brown. No pink is used, no pink color. It is the light uh, red that uh, he has used. He has lightened the red and that's for the hair. Now, Vanamala is in different colors. You can see how he's shading the face. Just observe carefully. Don't use marker for outlining. Sir doesn't want you to use marker. It's a thick line. Marker is very thick. Marker is very thick and it may not give you the desired effect. So just look at the way Sir paints the face, the shades that he gives. You can see how defined the face has come, nose, before giving black color. White pearl. So it's a white pearl. Now he will just look how he's doing the pearls, mm -hmm. the ornaments. Light red shading. Light red shading. So he's giving light red shading for the pearls. You can use uh, watercolor, acrylic color, or poster color, but not oil color. Okay? It's for cool chan. If you have just started, you can use either of these colors, but not oil color. Shailaja, if you go back to the video, you'll get an idea. Because it was, it is a step by step process. Yes, you have to highlight the ornaments. You just see how he has highlighted the pearls. And Vanamala is in different color green, red.
So the medium, uh, oil, the medium for oil is oil, and for acrylic colors it is water. So that's the difference. Yes, Kanika, you can do it on canvas, but you use acrylic color. That's what Sir said. You can do it on canvas, Kanika, but use acrylic colors. Details. Can you see the detail? Flowers, it's a garland. See how he is uh, giving the flowers? Unless you see that carefully. So he's uh, he has drawn flowers. So just see how he draws flowers. So he has thickened with red and he's drawing flowers. Just observe clearly. Yes, you can also do it on cloth, any fabric, no problem. But you have to go for poster color. Green, green, dark green on that. So now for green, that light green, he is using flowers dark green. So the shade was light green. Now on that he is giving dark green flowers. For red, he gave red color flowers. Just see that, observe it clearly. So he darkened the green and now he is using flowers on it. I didn't get the question of Jinal. Can you please see hand position while painting? I'm sorry, not clear with the question. If you make it clear, I can ask it. Yes, he, if uh, you want to know where he keeps his hand, yes, he is getting the support of the paper. Any paper that is thick, good quality is very good. a good quality paper which is thick is welcome. So the light color was uh, the different colors that he gave, but you see the flowers came in dark. So light green, dark green flower, red, light green, light red and dark red flowers. Background. 
fabric in many threads. In fabric color, there are many threads. So he's asking you which red you have in fabric red. So if you can tell which red you are using, then he can clarify your doubt. So, a 200 GSM thickness must be there for whatever paper you use. You can use either paper, drawing paper or chart paper, but there must be thickness in whichever painting. Crimson red done. He asked you, Krishnamurti, not to use uh, crimson red. Vermilion red? How? Hmm? You have vermilion red? He's oh. asking you if you have vermilion red. Krishnamurti, if you have vermilion red, you can use that, but not crimson red. Simran, we haven't started black. So you see when he starts black. To get this green, we have already told you sap green and yellow occur. Okay. Vinanti. So you can mix sap, uh, sap green and yellow occur. I agree, yes, poster color can be used. The feather. Thing. So now he, you just look how he is doing the feather. Peacock feather. And uh, what you have to see is how the dark shade is used. And the lines to show that feather. So it was light green, now he is using dark. So the peacock is also ready. <laughs> so he is going to give a sh shade. So the brown shade, so it is light. You see how he uses the brown a bit dark to give that shade. So shading brings more beauty to your painting. So it enhances the beauty. You see how that brown is being used. 
so clearly observe before you start doing how the shading is done Red color illa, carmine and vermilion shade. You see how? Vermilion. Uh, either carmine and vermilion. Uh, Judy, you can use uh, vermilion. Okay. So, sir said you can use uh, vermilion for that red color. So the next step is to black. So happy Meghna is inspired by this painting. So you can even try it with your students. And uh, after it is, it gets dried up, he's going to use black. The finishing stage. Okay, it's black. So you're going to process one more mural, Kerala mural painting. So you have Mohini with you now, Krishna and Balra. Yes. So pray you all enjoy doing this. So the final touching for Balra and Krishna with black. So we have already mentioned, Sudeep, about the color. If you have just joined us and if you have not been following us since yesterday, can you just get back to the video? Blue color on Krishna. Ananya, I think uh, you have just joined us uh, in the southern part of India, especially in Kerala traditional mural. For, uh, we use green for Krishna. Okay? So we have already mentioned in this video. You just listen to that. In northern India, we use blue. Balram's body is plain, white, and only shade he has given. So the black color, he has started black color. So see how this outline, because most of you said it's very difficult for you to do the outline. So clearly observe how he does the outline. Colors is clean, clear enough. Simran, are the colors not clear on screen? You mentioned what are the colors that has to be used. So now you can see the outline. So he started with the legs.
if the color is not visible for you from dash and run, the green color that we used is the color that does the green grams color. The mala, uh, the mala, vanamala is in green and red combination. And then light color he has given, given two shades, and then he has used dark color to give flowers. Now you see how he is uh, painting the anklet, giving borders, an outline, sorry, he's giving an outline. Just clearly observe it. No coloring for Balram's body. It is the white color that is retained and shade, red shade is given. Yes, Krishna is holding a bow. So you have to give the outline to only the parts which is dried up. Okay. So if it's wet, allow it to dry. Otherwise, you know, it will start spreading. So he has asked you to use the black outline only if the paint is dried up. So I've told you the color. Okay, later you check it because from here we get a clear uh, picture. No, you're not supposed to see the marker, you see, Adela? Don't use marker for giving the outline. If you feel you t it is uh, not possible for you to do with the brush, in such case, if you're going to spoil the entire painting, he said you can do. Otherwise, better not to use CD marker or marker. It may not give you the desired effect that is needed for this traditional art. As we have already mentioned, body color of Balram is left in white. But the shading, just observe the shading that he has given. Light red is given as the shading. Krishna's hair is to, you know, he hasn't started. He has started black. So now hair, everything, you can see where he is, he is giving the jewelry part. So clearly look at it. Just look at the jewelry. Can you see the jewelry? Look at jewelry. Ornaments. 
So just clearly observe and then start doing. How he is giving thin outline. So all these three combination of colors comes in there. Yeah, so the different step, Roxy just observe the different stages. Then you'll understand how the red outline and then how black outline. This is the finishing stage. Red and 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 red but uh, he said it will be a fast color. So the, you need to get a brick red color. Okay, Malabi. So if you use a red, it, it will be very dark. So he, he doesn't recommend you to use uh, the normal red. How the jewelry is done. Just observe 
and that white space in the center is left. The eyes will be open towards the end. So that will be the finishing stage. Now you can see the nose, everything is come defined. So the next ornament, you see how he is actually there to leave the space. So first you observe and then start to leave. the border for the pearls so now it looks very bright No, you don't paint, uh, Suhani, you don't paint Balram. It is actually the color white that is left. But you give a shading. Go back to the video. You can see we have uh, given you the idea there.
so are you aware clear bagram's body is not painted okay the white color is retained but shading with light red is given are you clear sohani just light red shading is given okay so we have even asked you to observe how that light shading is done and you mix the red with the water to give that shading okay you can see the flute is being given an outline now If you don't have zero size, if you have size one, you can use that.
So you can understand the, the amount of patience you need. But if you are very much interested in this art, it's highly meditative. So especially in the time of lockdown, I think it's a very good, uh, you know, it's a relaxation activity. But do it with a lot of passion. Otherwise, you will get bored easily. Without doing every line with lots of care, just observe. As you are all into lockdown, you, you have plenty of time. This painting will be completed uh, outside and we'll be starting the next one. And our timing is still 12 o'clock. So you can see how the dwellings are given the outline. To all those who are drawing, there will clearly because these are the areas we make use of, and some of them say they spoil their painting, so don't let it spoil so just sit and clearly explain. Because you don't get the personal attention now, so but the painting is there, so to observe and then start to you have all the fine details in with you. So you just have to observe what he is doing. Maybe in real classroom, you, you don't get such an opportunity to observe for a long time. So I don't think if, if at all you are going wrong, it shows you are engaged in talking, and that's the reason you go wrong. Otherwise, I don't think because the painting is there, light is being demonstrated for you. It doesn't happen in a real classroom. We have to go in attention and then you may lose track. So just clearly observe all those who are going wrong. It may be because you are distracted. Give your full heart into your painting.
in the Guatemala is being painted. See how the flowers are given to the outline. Hair, hair. Yes, someone was very much uh, curious about the hair. Now you can see sun is giving black. Can you see how the hair is being color? Yes. Black color for the hair. For Mohini, it was given in strands. Now you can see the full coloration for the hair. It's fully darkened. For Mohini, we saw it was stranded. It's fully blackened. You can contact uh, volunteers to know where you're taking, you know, they give you the address. It is also good that you can just uh, scroll it to find them. So the hair part is colored. You can see how the outline is given for the feather, peacock, feather.
we need a lot of focus that why you make this some of the details. Next, Balrama. So Krishna's finish. It is done. Almost all the coloring black, black outside is done. So I think if you are good in drawing, you can do. If you are a beginner, I don't think you may be able to get the same perfection. You can see Balrama's eyes are drawn, but eyes, uh, eyeballs are not open. That will be a final touch. Just the outer line. So eyes are not opened. It's just the outer lining. So you see how the lips are all given an outline. Eyeballs is the final step. Okay, Shaker. So he has not painted. So that will be the final finishing touch. So this is the outline that he's giving. Now he's giving for the hands. 
just see carefully how these outlines given and that adds beauty to the painting. And that's what we said yesterday, it is meritorical, you know, that gives life to your painting. So it is still left, uh, you know, it is still red in color. He has not given the eyes, just given an outline. Beginning stage of the beginning stage of the beginning stage of the beginning stage of Difficult in online. Difficult in online class. So there is a question regarding I just asked him. Why is there no separate class for shading? 
if it was personal, maybe he can assist you how to give the shading. So online, it is a bit difficult. Okay, so he has told you the different way he has demonstrated it. Photo light in. Okay, so it is not possible on an online platform. So it is on the process, my three. He has not shaded. He has not given black. I said it is the last stage. And I said it is maybe to repeat. Okay, that is going to be the final stage. So he is giving uh, flowers for the hair, Balrama's hair. Just uh, see that. Balrama's hair is being painted and you can see how the flowers is a technical problem so i hope this workshop is going well and we have a uh, created other drive for all the paintings and sketches and you can upload the, the, your paintings too so till now we have some questions uh, for you you can answer them in the comment section like the first question is the word mural is derived from which language a latin b english c arabic d sanskrit if you have any idea you can answer it in the comment section i will repeat the question the word mural der derived from which language a latin b english c arabic d sanskrit Yes, Latin is the correct answer because 
the word neural derived from the latin word which means neurus and which means wall so a is the correct option and the second question is which of the following is correct definition of neural painting a any piece of artwork painted or applied directly on canvas b any piece of artwork painted or applied directly on a wall ceiling or any other permanent surface c any piece of artwork painted or applied directly on a cloth any piece of r d any piece of artwork painted or applied directly on human body now i will repeat the question again which of the following is the correct definition of mural painting a any piece of artwork painted or applied directly on canvas b any piece of artwork painted or applied directly on a wall ceiling or any other permanent surface c any piece of artwork so yes uh, the correct answer is b mural painting can be defined as any piece of artwork painted or applied directly onto a wall ceiling or any other large permanent surface flat concave or convex to be precise hence b is the correct option and uh, mural is derived from latin language and now after the revival of this painting we are uh, drawing uh, it on canvas or paper for our ease so there is a next question this is a one word question traditionally mural painting colors are made from which substance i will repeat the question again traditionally mural painting colors are made from which substance there are no options you have to directly answer this question yeah they are natural color but exactly from which substance they are uh, like derived yes they are natural colors but most of the uh, colors are uh, derived from minerals like yellow is derived from uh, laterites and green color is derived from plants so minerals and plants is the correct answer next question is where is the institute of mural painting situated i will repeat the question again traditionally mural sorry where is the institute of mural painting situated i want to know the name of the city kerala is the correct answer The correct answer for this is Guru Vayur, Kerala. Thank you. So now we are going to open. Sir is going to open the eyes. Final stage. So very thorakal. I said this is very spacious. Written a spot of red color mm -hmm. in middle. So you should leave a spot of red color in the middle. Okay. Very very spot. A spot. One spot. Okay. A spot of red in the middle. In the eyeballs.
So Krishna's eyes uh, finish is done. So you can see a red color. Can you see that red spot? Yes, so Balrama's eyes is also done. So one more painting is ready for you to get trained. Okay? So all those who have been doing along with sir, you get one more painting ready. Mm -hmm. And if you have finished, you can set it to sir for, uh, uh, you know, for the clarification. And you can get his feedbacks too. Okay, Fairy, we will check it. Okay, if you have sent it to Sir, we will check it. So the completed pa uh, painting will be sent to the volunteers. Okay, so they will send it to you. Yesterday's painting was also sent. Today's will also be sent. Okay, then you can go. Uh, you can look at the fine details which you were not able. Some of you said it was not clear for you. Then you get to understand what should be done. Yes, so so these were the very simple paintings. Now we are going to the much requested one, Ganesha. Okay, so Vigneshwara. So it is uh, considered, so this god is considered as, you know, something that uh, removes all obstacles. So now we are going to do, and you can look at Ganesha sketch. Hope you are all ready with your Ganesha sketch. So get ready with your Ganesha sketch. So we were, sir was talking to you all about the detailed one, intricate one. So this painting is more intricate. It is time consuming. Maybe you may not uh, be able to finish the sketch. Uh, uh, we just have, uh, you know, half an hour, 40 minutes left. So you, it is time consuming. You sit and do it with patience. And we'll tell you what are the things you can see, uh, Ganesha. No? Like yesterday, we saw Krishna's favorite tool was, uh, you know, flute. And then we could see Balrama with flower. Same way, you know, all these deities have their own favorite, which symbolizes uh, uh, certain uh, things in the mythological stories. Though we are not going to go into detail of these mythological stories, here he will tell you what are the different things that you can see in the uh, sketch. This Ganesha and four hands. Ganesha One, with four hands. Two, three. So four times. 
four hands. Listen carefully. This is Pasham Angusham. Pasham means Kayar. Kayar, which means, uh, you know, coir, rope. This one, Pasham Angusham. Pasham in Sanskrit word, Pasham. The Angusham. You have a this is a sweet sweet this uh, trikkanu, two snakes, 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 Son of Shiva, Ganesha. So trikkanu, okay? Crescent moon to snake, you can see it's snake hands. Hands. Snake as sacred thread. Can you see a snake as the sacred thread there? Okay. So start tracing. Start tracing it. Yes, so the same way, the first step, you remember the first step, coloring, so color, color. So color the full area so that every detail. So color it like we did. So it is shading with your pencil. So this is our third day. So all those who have been following us will understand. It is shading with pencil. The first step behind your sketch, at the back of your sketch, because the next step is to trace. And those who have been following us, you might be knowing others, those who have just come or joined now. Just color it with your pencil. Okay? See, see, this is how it is colored. So you cannot find any white uh, space there. So everything is in black so that you don't miss any of the detail. So start coloring.
Yes, have you completed? So after you have shaded, you can just, if it is very dark, you can lighten it with either a piece of cloth or a paper. Today, use the Janssen sheet. Can you see? Janssen sheet. This is very costly. This paper is very costly. That is what Sir says. It's available in all sizes. Janssen yes. sheet. Good paper. So that's a good paper. That's what Sir says. It's a good paper. So, all those who have not traced, we can't wait for you, but you can sit and do it in the afternoon. We'll show you what is the next step. Okay? So, without getting tilted, keep it in the right position on your paper. So, it should be even on all sides. It should be even on all sides. Okay? And see to that it is not tilted. Otherwise, you get a tilted painting. So, be careful. It is not tilted. It involves a lot of fine details. This is the real intricate mural painting. So start tracing now. So this is our next step. So you must be ready with, uh, you know, you must be having all the, your knowledge about it. So start raising. So after shading, pin it on your paper where you intend to draw and start raising. Yes, you can use any other paper, but that is the best paper that you that he showed you. It's a bit costly. Since you can't move out now because of lockdown, you can use whatever paper is available with you. The paper that he showed you was Canson paper. Any paper will do, no problem if you don't have, but he said cancel paper, okay? This He's showing paper. it for you. It's a very thick paper. Good quality. It's of good quality. Thank 
So you know how to actually trace it. Use a ball pen and then trace. And as you trace, you look at the fine details. He talked about snake. You see where the snake is, where the flower is, where the crescent moon is. Yes. So he was also uh, talking about uh, the different rope in one hand, the four hands, the jewelry part. Look at the jewelry. So you should be more focused when you draw this Ganapati because there are chances you may miss some of the details. So when you look at the snake, just focus on the snake. You can see the snake uh, on the stomach as a sacred thread. See where the head reaches. See the jewelries. And then, and then. Okay. So all those who have completed tracing, okay, so you can do it in the afternoon after our session. So he's now entered the next step. So just to show you all, so that you can get ready tomorrow. Hello, occur. So you should have completed tomorrow this yellow outline, okay? So we have just showed you the step because now today is the third day. So you have done two paintings. You must be uh, aware. You must be having the knowledge now what to do. So he has done the sketch earlier. So now you, you are going to see he is going to give the outline. So tomorrow when we uh, start our class, you should be ready with this outline. See, he has started giving the outline. Hello, color. Hello, color. Hello occur. The usual. Hello occur. White background and now hello occur. You're tracing whatever you have traced. You're going to give an outline for it. Tomorrow, Tomorrow when you join us, to get that flow, you should have completed the outline because you have time in the evening, in the afternoon, Evening, so just complete it. So that you can be with sir and you can have a beautiful, because you were all requesting for Ganapati. So we have to go with, uh, you know, you should be a bit fast. So I repeat, tomorrow when we join, you should have completed your sketch and, uh, you know, you should have completed this yellow occur outline. So, sir, sir is showing you. Later, you can see the video. Now, you start tracing. If you have not completed the tracing, start tracing. And when you trace, you look at the fine details in the painting. It is Canson paper. If you can buy, yes, you can buy it. Now you do it with whatever paper is available. Again, if you plan to do, you can make use of the same sketch and do it in cancel paper. So we have started it with yellow occur. So I don't think I have to again tell you about yellow occur. 
So all those who have just started today, just go back to our previous videos. You'll understand. So you can see he is giving an outline for the leg, the jewelry. Cancer. It's Canson paper. Canson.
ാണ് ഇരിക്കുന്നത് if you have any doubts you can ask okay it is easy to draw provided you have more patience i think in this uh, time of lockdown you have more free time so you can sit focus and do this painting you can see the the bottom portion the leg part the jewelry is what we started with so every fine detail so once you all to finish this outline with the uh, yellow ochre and then you'll be able to follow from tomorrow what he does otherwise you know it is not easy so you should have finished this in the afternoon just bring an outline with yellow ochre bring all the details
just below the trunk, you can see snake. So he's actually now uh, painting or giving an outline for the snake. Mm -hmm. So in his trunk, you can see go, uh, they are, uh, you know, valuable gold diamonds you can see in a pot. So you can find jewelry in this uh, in that pot, in the trunk. So now he's drawing that. And below the trunk, you can see one more line. Don't get confused. It is the snake that is actually as a sacred thread. So it is a sacred thread that is going through his stomach. So Ganapati's stomach, you can see. Snake acting as a, or it is adorned as a sacred thread. So if you look clearly, you can see where the snake's head is. And the pot filled with valuable, you know, jewels. In one hand, you can see a broken tusk. He has drawn a full tusk. Can you see? And in one hand, there is a broken tusk. So when you do the outline, you see where the broken tusk is. In one hand, there is a rope. There is gold in one hand. And there is sweet we say modagam you can see the sweet in one hand a broken tusk in one hand so just clearly observe a crescent moon on the top and you know two snakes on either side of the crescent moon just below the crescent and also see Trikan because son of Lord Shiva. So when you draw, enjoy doing it. So learn where are the different details that is given and the jewelry. So that when you draw, you enjoy drawing it. But if you do it blindly, sometimes it, you may find it boring and you may wrongly color it. So this is the real intricate details. So that's the reason that we want you to do even after the class. Otherwise, you may not be able to finish it. So tomorrow when we join, you are supposed to actually complete it, complete the yellow occur outline. The other two paintings were very easy. So we learned it in an easy way.
once you finish it, you'll have a beautiful painting with you. So have that love and that, uh, you know, uh, eagerness for a beautiful painting to adorn. Once it is painted, it will look beautiful with all those colors. I think sir has already showed you a Ganapati photo on the first day, a Ganapati painting. Since you have a trace, I don't think it is going to be difficult. So, sir is drawing the sweet. So, that's Modagam. So, when you draw, when you look at every detail, fine detail, then you will enjoy drawing it. Otherwise, everything will look like Greek and Latin for you because you can find it is a lot of details like jewelry there. So in one hand is over with modagam, that is the sweet, and the other hand you can see a broken tusk is there. So two hands, sir has completed two hands. So after, so uh, someone has asked how many uh, days will it take to complete this three, three days? Yeah. It, uh, you know, uh, even it will take months to complete certain works. Now this, you know, we can do it, uh, uh, you know, you, you have to cooperate with sir. That's why sir said, make use of your afternoons and evenings even if uh, uh, night possible so that uh, you have to understand you get a beautiful painting so if you are with sir uh, you can complete it within three days so he's going to show you how it can be done so can you see every detail so tomorrow when we uh, start it has to we you need to have completed the entire uh, uh, outline with Eloha. Main classes with limitations. So these are some of the limitations that we find with online class. But still, the video is there. So you have uh, your uh, uh, sketch ready. So I don't think you have any problem. And those who say you don't have printer and uh, you know these are certain technical issues which uh, you know you you have to find some way
This is doing the hand part, the right hand. Hmm? 
So we are going to wind up the session for today, okay? And uh, we expect you all to complete this art. Uh, I mean, not complete the outline with yellow occur. Yes? So we would like you to complete it very sincerely so that you enjoy it with Sir tomorrow. Okay. So you, you just see what are the details included. And so it will be nice for you. You will enjoy it. Otherwise, you will find it very difficult. Which are the places of what will be done. So observe the painting very clearly. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow we meet again. So we Thank meet you. her. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It was indeed a discerning and comprehensive workshop. I would like to extend my heartwarming thanks for conducting this wonderful workshop and looking forward for continuing this workshop on day four between 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Before announcing today's schedule, I would like to thank you all of, uh, all of you for attending this workshop very patiently. Yesterday, a lot of beautiful feedbacks were submitted on the portal. I request you all to continue giving feedbacks as this helps us to keep improving continuously and ensure that our delegates are at ease while attending the workshop. Right now, uh, text feedbacks are allowed, but on last day, that is after day tomorrow, 6th June, delegates will be able to upload a one minute video sharing their exp experience. And please don't forget to submit the feedback for today's session on Speak Me Ke Anubha portal. And now, today's schedule. 12 to 1, lunch break, 1.15 to 1.45 p.m., Yog Nidra by Sanyasi Devanan, 2 to 3.30 p.m., talk by Dr. Karan Singh, 3.30 to 5 p.m., interaction session with Srimati Shabana Azmi and Javed Akhtar, 5 to 6 p.m., personal time and dinner, 6 to 7.30, Vidushi Priyadarshini Govind, Bharat Natyam, 7.30 to 9 p.m., Dr. Prabha Atre, Hindustani Vocal, and for tomorrow's schedule, Anubhav's schedule, 4 to 4.30 a.m. meditation with Brahma Kumari, 4.30 to 6 a.m. Hat Yoga by Sanyasi Devanand, 6 to 7 a.m. Nad Yoga by Ustad Vastafuddin Dagar, 7 to 8.45 a.m. breakfast and personal time, and 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. our workshop, 12 to 1 p.m. lunch break, 1.15 to 1.45 p.m. Yoga Nidra by Sanyasi Devanand, music and prayer, 2 to 2.45 p.m. Ao Naga Koyal, 2.45 to 3.30 p.m. Bhai Alankar Singh Gurbani, 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Varsi Brothers for Kavali, 5 to 6 p.m. Personal Time and Dinner, 6 to 7.30 p.m. Vidushi A. Kanya Kumari Karnatic Violin, 7.30 to 9 p.m. Pandit Bhadan Chapuri Santur, 
and for more information you can visit pickmaker.org/anubhav2020 thank you and i would like to thank all of you for for uh, attending this workshop and we will painting more on tomorrow and day after tomorrow thank you